Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dom One, and I am Brock with another video. Breaking news, breaking news. This just came down the news wire. Uh, ESPN, as well as the NFL ne Network, has reported that Antonio Brown is going to be suspended. Uh, they're weighing in on whether or not to suspend him or just frank out release him. Now, uh, let me tell y'all why we got into this point. Basically, and this really stemmed from the helmet gate issue. He had an issue with the helmet and uh, he basically skipped all of training camp. And uh, I, I, Mike Madoc, Mike Madoc, uh, I, I believe it was like three or four weeks ago, issued a statement saying, "Hey, you either all in or you're all out." Okay, and that really rubbed Antonio Brown the wrong way. So uh, basically, they find him. They find him like fifty four k. You know, fifty four k to him is not a lot of money. It's insignificant. But 54K to regular folks like you and I, that's extremely a lot of money. And basically, he's getting suspended all because he didn't go through a walkthrough. Okay. I believe it was up in Canada. Uh, and all, and, and, and what a walkthrough is, folks, if you're, you know, not aware of this, basically, you just uh, leave the hotel, open the doors. And you just walk through the, the certain type of plays uh, t during the training camp session. If he just simply did that, uh, we would not be where we are today. And on top of that, he made things worse by uh, showing the letter that Mike Madoc and the Oakland Raiders organization basically sent to him saying if he continues this behavior, uh, they will go as far as co conduct conduct uh, detrimental to the team. And basically, when you get that, that's basically saying that you're fired in the NFL world. Now, a couple of points I need to address before I get into the rest of this story. If they flat out release him before starting him in any game in the NFL regular season, they owe him nothing zilch but if they keep him on the roster and if he's able to play in a game then and then they turn around and release him they will still have to owe him 14 million dollars now the logical choice would be uh flat out releasing him where they don't owe anything uh, the guaranteed money is no longer guaranteed. It's no longer his anymore. And on top of that, they will recoup the, I believe it's like uh, $1.4 million uh, from his signing bonus. They will recoup that from him, okay? Uh, so this is getting ugly real fast and real quick. And I feel like the only solution to this resolution between Antonio Brown and Mike Madoc, and that's basically where all of this is is, is, is sparring from. Uh, there are reports where they had a screaming match. It didn't get into a physical altercation, but uh, Antonio Brown did threaten him by saying he will punch him in the face. And then he proceeded to kick the ball and said, find him for that as well, too. And, um... This is getting ugly real fast. And you got two immovable objects in Mike Madoc and Antonio Brown. You know, Antonio Brown is the type of personality that's not going to back down from anyone or anything. Okay, just look at his resume. Look at his history uh, that he, uh, in the NFL. However, if you look at Mike Madoc, he used to be an, uh, an, an, an NFL uh, analyst. Uh, he also had position in the in off in office positions uh this is his this is the first time he's been on a big scale project uh with the raiders organization uh, he did he did very fairly well with the with the roster itself uh particularly the the certain type of pay, players they have they have drafted and the certain type of players they have signed he have done very very good very very well and he does not want this to be a blemish because 
Uh, hypothetically, let's just say the Oakland Raiders had to choose either one of them and they let Mike Madoff go. I don't see, I don't realistically see that happening. But let's just say hypothetically, they, you know, they had an ultimatum. They had to choose either Antonio Brown or Mike Madoff. And they say, okay, Mike Madoff, you have to go. All right. Uh, he, he does not want this to blemish. He does not want this to stain on his um, resume. And he will be quickly picked up by any NFL team out there. Because the guy knows his X's and O's. He knows personnel. He knows players. Okay. He also has connections with other organizations in the NFL as well. As well as networks such as ESPN, Fox, and the NFL Network. Okay. So. The conclusion I can think of as of right now is Antonio Brown is no more. Uh, I feel like he has ran his stint with the Oakland Raiders. You know, they kind of put up with the helmet gate thing, uh, particularly the, way, the, the things he did and the things he said led up to helmet gate. All right. Um, you know, and his antics on, uh, hard knocks, the, uh, the, uh, and, and all his antics were, Hey, look at me. Uh, you know, and you know, typically star players do those, Hey, look at me moments. And that wouldn't be a real big issue. But when you got that compound on the fact that, uh, the helmet gate issue compound on the fact that, uh, he, he um, he burnt his feet compound on the on the fact that him and Mike Madoff is not uh you know uh, on a working type relationship level they don't have to be friends but they have to be on a working type relationship uh when when you look at all those variables uh it's it's not looking good for Antonio Brown I apologize the noise in the background had to turn on the air so this is getting ugly real fast if I had to uh, bet, I would bet that Antonio Brown uh, is no more with the Oakland Raiders. Uh, I guarantee you there's one organization, one coach, and one quarterback that is giddy laughing at this. And that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a history with Antonio Brown. Uh, uh, and a lot of people thought that the Oakland Raiders uh, Deep the Pittsburgh Steelers in the train for Antonio Brown, where basically they're still going to have to eat some of his salary. They took a salary cap hit, and they really didn't get anything significant from the trade. Okay, and a lot of people were talking about how uh, you know the Raiders are laughing at the Pittsburgh Steelers because they got Antonio Brown. Shoes on the other foot now. He's uh, he's now uh, you know a member of the Oakland Raiders, and he hasn't even played a game yet. David Carr has not even thrown a pass yet. Uh, he hasn't even experienced a first down success. Okay, hasn't even experienced uh, a game with the Raiders, and uh, the you know everyone thought that he probably would have been a rental with the Oakland Raiders. Maybe stay, you know, maybe stay with them one year. Then they cut, they sever the ties with them because of his antics and his behavior and the way how he treats people. But uh, a lot, th that's no more. If you realistically think that he's going to continue to be with the Raiders after this year, uh, you, you're on something. You are smoking some type of drugs, some type of unless Antonio Brown makes an, a public apology to Mike Madoff, to his teammates. And I know there are some teammates on the Raiders uh, roster that kind of putting up with it, but deep down inside, they really cannot stay in this. And, they're, and the, the focus is attracted to him, not what the Raiders are doing on the field. So this is getting real ugly, real bad, real quick. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, if I had to, to put any money down, you know, uh, the logical conclusion would be the Raiders letting him go. They keep all that money that they promised to give him in his guaranteed contract, okay? And they just move, they just move on from him. Now, I'm pretty sure Antonio Brown, if he gets released by the Raiders, he's gonna somehow make it seem like this was his plan all along. It's like the helmet gate. He, he basically said on social media that was the plan all along. Uh, he just wanted uh, a sponsor deal with, 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 with 
some helmet make, maker. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure he's gonna make it sound uh, like this was the strategy all along being released by the Oakland Raiders. But if he gets released by the Oakland Raiders, that's two teams he's been uh, let go of. And it hasn't been a full calendar year. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Oakland Raiders, meaning uh, when, if he becomes a free agent, I don't think there's going to be a lot of teams clamoring and giving him guaranteed money or any money at all, um, uh, you know, because of, not because of the talent, it's just because of behavior. But like I always say, if you're talented, there are so many variables that teams will put up with your ass, okay? But when you, uh, when, uh, when the problems elevate your talent, then the conclusion is we have to sever ties and cut bait, cut loose with you. But guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Chris Don One, and I am out, y'all.